All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any problem or difficulty. First of all, I miss you, miss you all of you, and uh, I'm so glad that I'm back home, and uh, we are going back to normal. Uh, now, today we are going to talk about many things, and we will start with some Ustad uh, from uh, Indonesia. Uh, you know... <clears throat> Uh, before before I start, just to inform you, my Skype is open, but only Muslims, they can call me. Any Muslim, he is polite, he is willing to discuss with us, uh, he is welcome. And in the same time, please maintain your good language in the chat. Anyone he say or uh, call names, use bad language, doesn't matter. You claim to be Christian, Hindu, Jews, atheist, we will block you. So please be respectful, speak nice, and we are here to speak as adult, not as a bunch of uh, uh, street uh, people who have a dirty language so we are going to discuss some issues you know uh, 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 in indonesia they have uh, uh, they have a big problem <clears throat> in front of me here i will put in the screen a website and this is an article written by indonesian i have no idea who wrote this article i have nothing to do with it and i am just showing you what i saw abdul samad ustad uh, jaman now I don't know what even that means. Uh, but what uh, uh, took my attention that in this new Mandala newspaper or magazine, uh, they are talking or having an article about Mr. Uh, Abdul Samad or Samad. I don't know how to say his name. Here it says that Mr. Abdul Samad, he make or he collect an average of six thousand dollars per sermon six thousand dollar and you know I was asking myself a man of God serving God in a country it's called Indonesia which I love very much I love Indonesian people but it's not a secret that Indonesia is a poor country the majority are very poor why he need six thousand dollars per sermon is that to pay his rent is that to pay for his uh, salad per sermon so if he do four sermon a month he make just from this twenty four thousand dollar in Indonesia that will make you live better than a king and that is telling me and here you can see the list of how much money he is making you know so that's telling me that those people they are not serving God those are serving their pocket out of this poor Indonesian people this country need universities need manufacturers need 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 yet those poor people they are willing to pay a man who say nothing speak nothing he know nothing and I challenge him to come and debate me anytime and I will show you that this guy he have no idea what he's talking about and even when we recite the Quran I die laughing I saw some videos of him <clears throat> as an example this video here Satisfy lost self in Islam. I cannot play the video for you. You can play it But you will see in this video this guy he quote for us the Quran says that a Muslim a good Muslim is the one who protect his uh, Private part and it's not lawful for him to have any sexual activity with anyone except what is lawful for him His wives or his slaves. So he's teaching you in the year 2019 go on slaves and rape them and that is supposedly will satisfy the lust of a Muslim. This is what he quote for us. I wish I can play the video. Anyway, you can search the video here. It's a quote, Satisfy Lost Self in Islam by Ustaz Abdul Samad. In different video, a person asked him, <clears throat> he have a paper in his hand, a reading from, uh, handshaking with non muharram Muharram in Islam, <laughs> it is somebody, uh, I mean, it's funny, non muharram uh, like if you have a family member you can shake hand like you know you can shake hand with a male uh, he is uh, your uncle as an example you are you are a female so 
a question, a very important question, and this is why we pay him six thousand dollars every sermon because we want to know if it's okay to shake hand with a stranger or not. The only one who can give us the answer is this guy, and then he tell you that good Muslim women she put a tissue over her hand and then she shake hands with you. Wow, and that supposedly make her and make you following Allah. You know, I would like uh, Ustaz Abdul Samad to explain to us how the Prophet, peace upon him, he allowed the Muslim women and Muslim men to share bed together without marriage for three days, three nights. It's called muta. And you know that this is not temporarily marriage. This is nothing. It's even the name is muta, which means sexual pleasure. So, how you are so conservative following Islam? And then you say to us that you have a prophet. He taught the following. <clears throat> uh, let us see the hadith. So people will not say we are making things up. So a Muslim woman, she cannot shake hands. If she want to do that, she have to put a tissue or a, or, or, a, or a little fabric of her hand, and then she can shake hand with you. And by the way, since when that, I mean, where in Islam it says you can shake hand with someone, he is a man, by doing such a thing. Where does guys get this from? He's just fabricating. I challenged the Muslim, by the way, to show me where he got this from. Ask him what is the difference in the front of us we have the prophet speaking and here there is a false translation as an example he says their marriage should last three nights it doesn't say anything about marriage in this hadith this is the hadith in front of me it says that the messenger of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal ayyuma rajulin wa imra'a tawafaqa fa'ishratu ما بينهما ثلاث ليال فإن أحبا أن يتزايدا أو يتتاركا تتاركا Very simple. There's no marriage. Any man, any woman, they want to share sexual relationship together for three days, three nights. If they like to increase, they increase. If they like to decrease, they decrease or they could they, 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 they uh, lift each other. What is the marriage? What is the word marriage? Who want to show me the word marriage in this? But it appears in the translation. And they put it for you here temporary marriage. Okay, can we have temporarily shake uh, uh, hand, hand shaking? So in Islam, we can have sex, it's called temporary sex, but we cannot have temporary hand shaking, according to Abdul Samad Ustaz. I mean, do you see how conservative this religion is? We can go in the bed and have boom, boom, moom, moom, doom, doom. But we cannot shake hands, brother. Haram, brother. It's haram. Haram. We are very conservative people, brother. If we ask Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, he have a different idea. Zakir Naik, he will not agree with this guy. Let us call him. Tiranem, tiranem. Tiranem, tiranem. Tiranem, tiranem. I told you don't call me and I told you you will not answer you hey brother we have a problem here because your brother in Indonesia Ustaz Abu Samad he said that you can shake hands with the Muslim uh, just put some tissues in the top of it this is an idiot and he do not know what he's talking about it's haram in Islam because this is forbidden and he is not talking for him uh, uh, brother hold on don't go crazy what about the Prophet allowing you to have a temporary women in the bed so temporarily shake handing is haram, but temporarily women in the bed is halal. First of all, it's abrogated, and it's not valid no more. Hey, abrogated or not, how and what kind of religion allow a Muslim man to have a temporarily a woman in the bed? So it was lawful, now it is not lawful. What kind of God, he makes such a thing lawful anyway? Like, was it in the time of Moses that a man, he can have a woman temporarily in the bed? 
it was lawful in the time of Isa that somebody can have a woman temporarily in the bed. So what happened? Allah, he make it temporarily and the second day he changed his mind. First of all, I'm not going to alter you. And I'm going to call my lawyer. And I'm going to sue you. Uh, Zachary, you threw me or not, you have no answer. What is the reason and what is the logic? We cannot shake hands, but we can shake them in the bed, brother. How you can explain that to me? First of all, Christian Prince, you are fake. And you are, throw me your faith. Throw me your faith, I will answer you. What had what this had to do with my face, Zach and Mike? I want an answer. My face is not good looking. I look ugly. Don't you see no women want to marry me? I'm not like you. You know, you are sexy and you know it. But where is the answer? So you Muslims, you say we cannot shake hands with women, but we can have them in the bed and temporarily. What kind of religion this religion is? And you claim that you Muslims are very conservative. Hello? Brother Zakir, are you there? He hang up. <clears throat> so when I listen to those who call themselves Muslim scholars, I found a bunch of, you know, jokers trying to make something out of nothing. Or they want to teach us that Islam teach you to be a, a mo like a person of modesty. A person who protect himself, a person who keep himself. So wearing hijab have nothing to do with being modest. Absolutely not. Because what the point if women they are can be sale for sale anytime, anyhow. And then now Muslims they can have four women in the same time in the bed. So I cannot have shake with four women, I can have them in the bed. And then I can divorce them after five minutes after I finish with them. And then I will replace them with other four women. There is no limit. No limit. It can be four millions. It can be 50 million. As long as you can afford it. So they try to fool us to make Islam look and present Islam as if it is a religion who they teach decency and modesty and women is protected. But the fact that women in Islam is became nothing but a product. A product to be used and abused for buying and selling. Now, if we ask any Muslim, give me the reason for the Prophet to allow such a thing that a Muslim woman and a Muslim man they can go in the bed and Muslims with no, I mean, what I can say, temper. They put it between two brackets and look here. He says their marriage should last for three nights. Have you ever heard of a marriage? By the way, where is the word marriage coming from? We do not know. But for three nights, what about four nights? I mean, why this guy is stuck with number three? The Muslim, they say the Christians are people of the Trinity, but yet everything in Islam is based on number three. Even, even sexual relationship, three nights, three days. Hey, brother, can I have it for half day? What is that? My Skype is open. If there is any Muslim who would like to give us a call, please feel free. All you Muslims. Please, only Muslims. We will not take calls from non-Muslims. <clears throat> uh, we have Agha Abbas. He tried to call me before, but not today. Uh, let us hope that he is not uh, driving. Look like he is driving as usual. All right. If there is any Muslim would like uh, to uh, to call us, please feel free. Uh, if you don't know how to find my ID in uh, uh, Skype, I will. Uh, you can give me your ID and I will call you, and it's for free, as you see. I mean, it's a Skype. And you know, and then the the, the issue we always receive from Muslims, they try to present to us something is not exist in this in this. In this in this if we can call it religion, as an example. You know, when you say to me that this was halal, which means lawful, and then it was not lawful. Okay, where is the verse in the Quran that says this is not lawful? Because the one who said you can do that, you can have women temporarily in the bed, is in the Quran. Where is the verse in the Quran saying that this verse is abrogated? And why God, he want to abrogate a verse he made just two weeks ago? Or two months ago? You see, we are not talking about a prophet abrogating the verse of other prophet who came 
a thousand year before him we are talking about the same man he says something in the morning he changes mind after noon the prophet of islam he remind me of someone working in the laboratory and he is examining things and this thing does not work he 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 know he say okay don't do it this is can't be god and what is the wisdom of this three days three not and okay what we got with this I wish I can go back on time. Get my video camera. I record the wedding of a three days, three night. How many wedding a day we have? How many Muslims practice in three days, three night? Honeymoon. Decency. It is part of belief, which is claiming to be coming from God. I don't see decency here. I see just only lust. And somebody driven by sexual desire and this man his name is Muhammad is a trying just to drive his men to believe in him by giving them open it's a hippie religion it's a totally a hippie religion you see they say to you we are we are conservative but the fact Islam is a hippie cult because until now we can have four women in the bed and unlimited number of slaves what if somebody have 1000 women slaves yes he can have the share the bed with four one 1000 women it's a hippie cult please uh, admins i don't know if there is admins in the chat uh, anyone use bad language don't force me to block you speak attack the topic don't attack anyone all right now if there is any ustad here we go actually some some of you asking the ustad to join us and uh, to call us live and to be uh, uh, to be in the part of the conversation where is that text uh, this text here jumping in front of me so i look at the wrong <clears throat> See, people are asking Muslims to call us and to show us really the good part of Islam. I see nothing good there. I see just a man, you know, he 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 trying to do business. He is the same as Abdul Samud. Abdul Samud, he makes six thousand dollars per sermon. He remind me of no one except Muhammad. If we ask ourselves a question, what and how much money Jesus he used to ask for before you can meet him? The answer is zero. He never asked for a month, a penny. Same as his disciples. But if we go, we find that Muhammad in the Quran, he will not accept to see you unless you pay him. And not only that, Muhammad, he described Allah religion as a commerce, as it is a trade business. As you see, chapter 61, verse number 10. It's a business. And Muhammad, he promised the rich ones who invest in Islam, to be in heaven as an example Muhammad he promised Uthman ibn Affan because he gave him a lot of money to be the first in heaven who are you Muhammad to promise people to go to heaven are you God who are you one of the clear proofs that somebody is a preaching a scam that he promised you heaven if you give him money obvious you see, if you donate to Christian Prince, Christian Prince cannot guarantee you heaven, for he is no one. Who am I to, tell, to say to you, if you if you donate to me, you go to heaven? Muhammad, he do that. And he made it clear that you cannot even see him and come to his house unless you pay him. <clears throat> why why in order to speak to a prophet of god who is doing you know he's a man of god what is the purpose oh who you believe when you want to consult the messenger of allah in private spend something spend something have you ever heard of a religion like this before? Why you have to spend something in order to hear Ustad Abu Samad 
six thousand dollars you know in Indonesia with my respect to all Indonesian I love them I respect them and I believe they are very, very wonderful people but all of us we knew that there is hundreds of thousands of female Indonesian work abroad as maid okay instead of giving a man six hundred thousand dollars for little speech and he say nothing there what about save your girls from working abroad there's more than a thousand and two hundred female killed in saudi arabia killed and they went to work there as maid to the point that yeah, the indonesian government they forced to stop sending any females to saudi arabia for a while have you ever heard of a 1200 1, murder and none of them was found I mean, who is the one who killed her? They killed them, they raped them, they enslaved them, and they tortured them. And all the reason for that, because they are poor. You know, when you are poor, everybody take advantage of you. So a poor woman, doesn't matter, by the way, if she is a Muslim or not, we speak for a human right. We are not defending somebody because he's a Christian or a Muslim. We love those people who they are poor from Indonesia, regardless if they are a Christian, Hindus, Buddhas, Muslims, doesn't matter. So you give 6,000 to somebody to give you what? To give you a speech saying you have to put a tissue before you shake hands? And what you get from that? And not only that, he teach in the video that it's lawful for you to have a sexual relationship with your slaves. But according to Islam, a slave is, you know, depend in the sect, by the way, a slave is not necessarily someone you own. It can be somebody you pay. Because the Quran says it clearly that men are in charge of women because of they spend on them. Because what? Because they spend on them. So any female you spend on her, according to Muhammad, the man is in charge. Men are protectors and maintainers of women because Allah had men on one of them excel on the other and because they spend to support them from their means. So a female maid, according to Islam, she is considered as equal to a slave. She is lawful for him to have her in the bed because simply he support her from his pocket. What kind of religion this religion is? And what kind of a prophet he will not meet you unless you pay him? You know, I went to many poor countries. I refuse even to accept a donation. Actually, I made conditions that before we make the speech, we tell them that if you make a donation to this church, it's not going to be for me. Countries like Philippines, as an example. Those people, they need my donation. Why am I going to take donation from them? For sure, not everybody in Philippines is poor. I'm talking about the poor one. Do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? What kind of God, if you are rich, by the way, Muhammad, he copied Jesus, where he said that it's harder for a man to go inside the eye of a needle if he is rich, to go to heaven. He is copying Jesus. But Muhammad was a very, very, very rich man. And the funny, the Muslim, they fabricate a story saying to us, do you know that the prophet, when he died, He took money from a Jew, borrow money. He gave him even his weapon so he can get the money. Muhammad, he took money from, he killed all the Jews. What Jews? There's no Jews. And he took all their money. They fabricated stories to make to us or to make us believe that Muhammad was the most decent man who never took a penny from somebody. Muhammad, even he agreed and he admit that even steal sandals of dead men. And you can see that in Ibn Kathir. And even he killed a man and he took his donkey.
who is an Ustad from Indonesia is willing to call me and he is willing to show the world that Islam is a very very fantastic religion yeah this is what I meant I mean it's a, it's a it's very hard for a rich man to go inside the uh, uh, it's it's easier for a man to go inside the eye of a needle but I'm, I'm, I'm quoting what Muhammad said trying to copy Jesus one of you by the way he asked me about uh, 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 that Allah he said he is the truth and he is saying and I said in the video that Allah is copying Jesus is not Allah is copying Jesus this is Muhammad Allah he called himself that he is the truth trying to copy the name of Jesus Jesus says I am the truth and yet the Muslim they say to you where Jesus said I'm God one of the names of Allah is the truth do we have any Muslim would like to say something to us any Muslim would like to call us Any Muslim would like to call me after we finish broadcast the Muslim they will say like some of you say there is some Muslim making videos to refute me okay where are they they refute me why you don't call me life and refute me life and then you take the video by calling me and you post it in your channel you win you win anyway simply those are fake they're a bunch of kids they don't even know how to say their prophet name correctly Any Muslim would like to call us. And you know what? I'm not going to ask you a question. You tell me what to ask you. What do you think? You tell me what to ask you. Anyone? obviously they have no answer and I understand you know I, if I am you I will not have an answer too. you see many people they say okay well uh, look like uh, uh, we are not having a smart Muslim to debate or etc or educated it doesn't matter actually the educated Muslim is the easiest to defeat I mean I'm talking about defeat his answer <laughs> 